Okay, today I'm working on the earthquake side of the tsunami. And this is going to be a little more challenging, uh, most because it's really time consuming and I can see there's some issues with my performance, of course, again. So this is a rendering with uh, cycles at 18 samples. Let's just run through the animation real quick. I'll just uh, let it run a few times. And I'm really just incorporating all the elements that I might use within the scene to make everything come to life. There's going to be about six or seven different scenes that I'll cut to with different cameras. But this approach isn't really ideal because this is a matter of kind of timing it. Timing the animations to work with each other. Uh, that's not really the ideal way. It can work, but the problem is if it takes so long for your renderings to occur, even at low resolution, then it's kind of uh, pointless sometimes. Even this, this only took an hour for the rendering and a little bit longer for the simulations as well. And then in the next video, I'll show you here, coming up any second, is that I cranked up the resolution to 75 in cycles to take away a lot of this graininess. So let's see what it looks like. It's the same scene, just from above. All right, let's see. Whoops. Don't need that. Let's try this one. All right. And so now you can see even these objects in here, they don't look too bad from above when they're under the water like that, versus when you're under the water looking at them, they don't look so ideal. But so every little thing, you know, you know how computer graphics is, it's just a lot of trickery sometimes. But I only have about a fourth of the objects in the scene that I need, or at least that I want, and I don't have near as many particles and other objects to make the scene come to life and you notice the trees not moving yet so it means I haven't put any soft body work into the scene and the soft body is takes more processing time than anything so and this particular animation took had to get up in the middle of the night to start it took four hours just to generate this animation of 160 frames so things are not looking good, <laughs> you know. I sometimes get a little bit too ambitious as far as the things that I'd like to do. I know I can make Blender do it. There's, that's not a problem whatsoever. But whether I can make my computer go faster, no, this is just not going to happen. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do at this point, but I'll keep poking away at it and see what I can come up with. All right, I'll see you in the next video.